Here with us now, certified CPA Dan Gelchu. Dan, welcome to the show. So why would some parts of the country see a bigger tax increase than those other parts of the country? Well, what happened with the Trump tax cuts is that they were actually geographically sensitive. What do I mean by that? You, re you may remember that term, SALT, state and local taxes. A limitation of $10,000 was put on that, which meant those that were in high tax states were going to lose a lot of tax benefits. So if the, if the Trump tax cuts don't get renewed and they expire at the end of 2025, then there's going to be a lot of people who will benefit by having that expire. So let's talk about both candidates. Trump wants to extend all the tax cuts. Harris only wants to keep the ones for households making under $400,000 a year. I am curious, does 400K make sense as a threshold of who should be considered wealthy and who should not? Again, I actually say that's geographically sensitive because if you're in the Northeast, for example, I'm in New Jersey, making $400,000 is actually not a lot of money. Why? Because the cost of living is so high, housing is so high, real estate is skyrocketing right now, so those dollars just don't go as far. So when you're talking about taxing that group of people even more, well, yeah, then your net isn't so much, and given where you're located, you just can't buy enough stuff that you need. Dan, it's September. We've been keeping an eye on this month. An interest rate cut is expected from the Fed later this month. How big of a cut could this be? Do you think it's the last one for the fiscal year? Well, I think we're going to see at least a quarter point, and that's what's likely. Uh, is it possible we can get a half a point? Yes. And do I think there'll be more cuts uh, through the end of the year? Yes, I do. I think that's where the Fed wants to go right now. I think it's where they need to go. So I anticipate that is going to help a lot of people out there when interest rates start to come down across the board. Dan Geltrude, thank you so much. Thank you. And let's look at our top story.